Oh, they're so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, stop. This is so perfect for King Henry to ask her to, oh, oh, okay, I guess we're going in the pool then. and welcome to another episode of the royal family i apologize if i don't have too much energy in this video i didn't get much sleep last night i was up until 4 30 a.m editing my last video that i posted the royal family of sulani video and i just oh my gosh it took me like seven hours to just edit that video so that didn't even include two hours for just prep time and recording but while we are on that subject so before we start today's video i just want to bring something up to you guys so i have looked into patreon and if you guys don't know what that is it is is a website that a lot of content creators and a lot of YouTubers have and basically they have like you can either make donations to support them or you can be a member and you get perks if you're a member and they have like different member tiers so I was considering making a patreon and I would just love to know if I did if you guys like what perks you guys would want to see because some content creators so they have like a discord group so it's like a chat group where you guys would be able to like ask me anything about my series or just like about how I make my videos or anything like that and I be able to answer better than I do on my comments because it won't show me just like a few of the different comments that'll show me like your whole conversation so that would be one of the perks probably and then there's also like I could do other perks too I could do behind the scenes videos I could do like early release videos so anyone who's a member would have the chance to see a video before other people do on my YouTube channel and I was just thinking of that kind of stuff you guys can let me know what other ideas you have too but it was just something I wanted to bring up just because it has been very difficult to put so much time into my videos videos recently so I would just like appreciate the support so so much if I made a patreon so you guys can just let me know what you think of that it was just something I wanted to bring up and see what we could do with that but I will keep you guys updated on that if I do make a patreon so in the last episode we got to meet the royal family of Sulani we got to meet the king King Mahaka Queen Lokalani and Princess Leilana so I showed you guys their castle showed you guys most of their outfits and everything showed you guys their mermaid form is because they are mermaids and that is just a very very special cool thing specifically for the royal family of Sulani and their nobles like their relatives as well and then we also had the royal family of Sulani meet some of the other royals like King Henry, Princess Amira, Prince Johan and all of them they got to just meet a few of them so that was all in the last episode and I've gotten such positive feedback on that video so far so I'm so so glad you guys love it so much and are enjoying it because I am very very obsessed with the I of Sulani and their royal family so I'm so excited to incorporate them in the rest of our series as well but in this episode of the royal family we're going to have King Henry introduce his kids to his new girlfriend Lady Ava and if things go really well I think he might be considering proposing to her too you guys so if he does that I feel like he would have like this grand party or a grand dinner or like a ball or something like that to kind of introduce all of his other relatives like his sisters and maybe the other royal family families to get to introduce them to Lady Ava if she says yes. So hopefully that will happen in this episode. I'm really excited to see if it does. But if you're excited for this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. Looks like a royal family of Windenburg is already at the Sulani Palace, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, and it looks like the king's mother is here too, Keala, or Ke Ke yeah, Keala. Um, so it looks like she's here as well. I did want to show you guys something with Lady Harmony later on, so I will try to remember to do that by the end of this episode. So for them, so I guess they are getting along really well with this royal family because they're all here. Like I don't think I told them to all come here, but they're like all of them are here. Like even the kids are here and everything too. We are going to, I'm just going to go ahead and I need to get rid of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and plan a social event and then I'm just going to invite over, I'm pretty sure I can just invite over Lady Ava for dinner at the Windenburg Palace. So we're not going to stay here, but I figured since we're already here and if I have the party at the Windenburg Palace, then that should be fine. So we're just going to do a dinner party. I'm not going to make it a gold event. We're going to have the host be King Henry. The guests are going to be his three kids and then also 
Lady Ava too. So we're gonna invite them all over. The caterer, I, I mean, we have a butler who could probably make a meal, but we will invite a caterer over anyway because the butler probably has to do some other preparations. So that should be fine. So then, yes, we're going to have the dinner at the Windenburg Palace. Oh, wow, everyone dressed up like in their party outfits and everything. So I do feel like King Henry already told his kids that Lady Ava was coming over. So they did know, although all of them are going upstairs right now, they should probably go meet Lady Ava because, whoa, wait, where'd she go? I, I swear I just saw her, where'd she go? Okay, there she is. So I have Lady Ava here. So we're gonna have all the kids be polite and come down and introduce themselves to her. So do a friendly introduction. So they all definitely, I feel like King Henry would be like, don't ruin this for me. Like, I'm really happy. Like, I want you guys to like Lady Ava too, but please just try. Like, introduce yourself to her and try. But you guys should really come inside. So maybe like have like a sit and chat there. So then everyone will go inside and then you guys can avoid all the paparazzi. Why isn't she coming inside? Okay, there we go. I was like, um, you can go inside. You don't have to be polite. It's your boyfriend's castle. That's a weird sentence to say. <laughs> okay, so it looks like they're all chatting here at the table. So it looks like it's Prince Kellen and then Lady Ava and King Henry. So they're all having a conversation. So, uh, oh no, they all got up. I was gonna have Princess Amira come here because it looked like she was about to come over. And then Princess May too, she can come here and then King Henry can sit in his throne chair. And then Prince Kellen, you can also come sit and chat here. Oh wait, no, that's King Henry. King he wait, Lady Ava's leaving. This is not working, you guys. Okay, it looks like our caterer did make some food. So I'm going to have us bring that upstairs so then I can call everyone to the meal. So then everyone will hopefully actually sit down and eat at the table because that would be helpful. Did he make French toast? Oh gosh, okay. Well, maybe that's Lady Ava's favorite is French toast. So we had them make that. And then I feel like Princess Amira is like French toast. We're having French toast for dinner. I mean, like Princess Amira is no fun if she's says that honestly because french toast is so awesome for dinner okay so king henry's gonna call everyone to the meal and then we're gonna have everyone come sit down i think that things are going pretty well with lady ava so that's a good thing because like it looks like princess may's relationship is going uh, like up oh looks like wow princess amira's relationship is actually like slightly higher than princess may's relationship is with lady ava and then so is prince kellen you guys all of the relationship oh my gosh it already like has gone so, so well. I feel like maybe King Henry has kind of hinted to his kids that like, if things go well tonight, I would like to ask Lady Ava to marry me. And they've been seeing each other for, for a while, not like a lot, but like a good amount of time. And King Henry is getting older too. So I feel like he wouldn't like, like he, he wanted to take things slow, but I feel like he wouldn't like just completely take it slow, like take like years to ask her to marry him. So I think, oh, and it looks like Lady Ava just became really good friends with Prince Kellen too. So that's good, you guys. They've become like such good friends. The kids really like her. And I mean, it has been a long, long time since their mother passed away. So I feel like they are not, like they don't have any hard feelings, like un unlike Astrid from our Dynasty series and, and Alistair who did not like the fact that their father was getting married, mostly because it was so soon after their mother had passed away. So King Henry has been very respectful and waited a very long time. And Lady Ava is so sweet. So I think that he might ask her to marry him here, you guys. Like, I feel like he would take her in the backyard and ask her. Although, I think that might be where he asked Queen Alice to marry him. So, so maybe not directly in the backyard. You know what? Maybe he should take her somewhere else. Maybe he should take her. Maybe he could take her to the Island Bluffs because that's where he asked her to be his girlfriend. So I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to end this dinner party. I think things went really well and the kids all got along very well with Lady Ava too. So we're going to have King Henry is going to travel and ask Ask Lady Ava to come with him. Okay, so they are here at the Island Bluffs. I think King Henry might need to change his outfit a little bit. So outfits change outfit. Oh no, it looks like Lady Ava just like disappeared suddenly. I don't know where she went, but I need to find her. I'm going to probably just use the MC Command Center and teleport her here because that's like the easiest thing ever. So teleport lots him. It doesn't look like she's actually here. Like it does look like she went home. So teleport Lady Ava here. Okay, so Lady Ava is here now and I know you guys 
guys might say like it, it's so soon after she's just met the kids to have them get engaged but like I really feel like it, it, they wouldn't wait for so so long like they know of Lady Ava they know of her family at least so they've they've known of her and things just went so well at dinner like they all are like at least friends with her or good friends with her now so I think they really love her like I think they just fell in love I feel like they were like to their dad like you should propose tonight like don't wait because she is amazing and you don't want to lose her like I think you should propose tonight like I feel like he might have been thinking about waiting a little bit but his kids kind of like encouraged him to go ahead and propose tonight like they they're fine even though they just met her like they think that she's good I feel like Princess Amir is probably going to do her own digging on her though just to be a little bit protective like the protective daughter she wants to make sure her father is marrying someone okay but I feel like she knows of Lady Ava enough to know that like her family has a good reputation and so does she so I think it'll be okay so King Henry and Lady Ava I'm going to bring them to sit here so this is where they had their first date it's really nice because it's just like a private dwelling so there are no paparazzi or anything like that here because it is so annoying to deal with when the royals go out in public so I'm going to have him just invite her to stay the night just because otherwise sometimes they're like okay bye and you're like wait I'm like hanging out with you I don't know why you're leaving so I'm gonna have him ask her to stay the night so she at least knows that she can stay a little bit longer then I'm gonna have them go sit over here by the pool I feel like at some point too he needs to bring Lady Ava to Sulani because he didn't bring her there the last time because she hadn't met the kids yet and she didn't want the first time that she met the kids to be at like the royal family of Sulani's world where they were doing business kind of because like he was there to meet all the royals so I feel like he told her all about it though it's like you like we have to go maybe May I don't know. No, I think they're definitely going to get married in Windenburg because it is like the royal wedding. They should do it either at the home or at like a really nice wedding venue in Windenburg. But I still feel like they that he would be like, we have to go visit there. It's just the coolest thing ever. And I think he would love it so, so much. You guys, they are so cute. I mean, this is just so cute. And look at the stars in the sky too. It's such a romantic setting. Like this is so perfect for King Henry to ask her to, oh, oh, okay. I guess we're going in the pool then. I did not expect that to happen. He literally just like went in for a bit and got out and now he's going to go like play chess he should probably at least ask lady ava to play chess with him i don't know where she went though guys i don't like where did she go okay so i found lady ava so he asked her i had her i had him ask her out on like an official date just so she knows like to stay because <laughs> she kept walking away but then i had to keep asking her to hang out i think she kept thinking like we're not like actually hanging out but then he was like no we're on a date so they are just talking and just guys this is such a romantic setting and i love it so so much I think he is about to ask her to marry him. They're just doing a little bit of romantic interactions. I wanted to make sure they were feeling flirty before I did have him ask her to marry him. So she's feeling flirty. He's feeling confident though, guys. Like he, I think that means like he is ready to ask her to marry him. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I think this is going to be, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Like it's been so long since Queen Alice passed away. Okay, so they're just doing like a few little cute flirty interactions first, but oh my gosh, guys. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry if it's being a little like la laggy and jumpy. It's because I'm doing the, oh no, oh, wait, he's proposing to her. Oh my God, she said yes, you guys. She said yes. Okay, yeah, it's being a little laggy because I keep taking screenshots and they're so, so cute. Oh, they're so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, stop. Guys, they're so adorable and they're getting married guys i am so excited and then king henry is feeling super super confident of course he just asked her to marry him and she said yes we're, we're probably gonna wait just like a little bit before they actually get married so i'm gonna just give it some time i want to find like a pretty good wedding venue and stuff for them as well so i will just wait a tad before we do that but guys oh they're so cute I don't know if she, she probably won't move into the wind. Well, I don't know. Should she? I feel like you'd be very adamant about like you should move in to the castle if we're going to get engaged because I think he wants him to get to know his kids. Maybe, maybe we will. Maybe we'll ask her to move in with us. <gasps> guys, I was not expecting to do this. Ask to move in. <gasps> yes, I can do it. Okay. Okay, guys. Yay. Yay. We're going to have her move in with us. I'm so excited. So 
Currently, Lady Ava lives with her sister, Baroness Valentina, which I can actually make her name longer now that I have the longer mod or the name, the, the mod to make your names longer. So I can actually call her Baroness Valentina now, which is great. So I have her currently living with uh, Baroness Valentina and her husband, Baron Matthew, and then their two boys, Lucas and Maxwell. So I'm going to have her move in. And in case you are wondering, so I, her name is Ava. I know it's spelled like Eva. Eva, but I know an Ava who spells her name with an E and then we because I own a uh, princess party company So we did a birthday party for a little girl once named Ava But it was also spelled with an E and I remember the mom when she submitted her booking form She put like a little note and she was like her name is Ava, but it's spelled with an E She was like she's probably gonna hate me for it when she gets older and I just thought it was so funny But I thought it was really cute too So I just I just named her that and like pronounced it Ava So just in case you guys are wondering I feel like her name for sure though like full name is Evelyn or 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 oh no because if it's Evelyn then I feel like that would be like Eva for her nickname oh maybe no Evangeline a Ava Ava is that Eva still that could be her full name Evangeline but like we call her Ava I think I'm gonna go with that but yeah you guys can still let me know any suggestions I will most likely go with that but if I see another suggestion that I like better then maybe I will go with a different thing but yeah so I have her moving in Guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so she's officially part of the Windenburg household so she can have like a good amount of bonding time with the kids and all of that as well. I do really want to have like a royal ball. Oh, it looks like King Henry's like the only one here right now. So I'm going to switch over to the Windenburg palace. So I do want them to have like a celebration. So like a big grand royal ball inviting like all of their family and the royal families to their house. So I think we're going to do that. Although right now it's like in the middle of the night, but I think that will be fine. We'll just pretend it's not 5 a.m. It's okay. I'm going to have the everyone over for a royal ball. Oh, and then now, so I need to think of King Mahaka's formal outfit if I need to change it or not. Uh, well, you know what? So I, I think I am going to just find an alternate formal outfit. So his formal outfit right now, and I, I showed you guys in the last episode. So he just, he like doesn't have like a shirt, which I mean is totally normal for their culture, but it's because their formal events are not like the other royal formal events. Like their formal events are like ceremonies with like still they're, they're mostly outdoors for the most part like they'll have people over but it's like the, the kava parties that they'll have formal outfits for so i feel like he would definitely still have something that he could wear for other formal events and especially now that they're meeting other kingdoms so they have to do that as well the thing i wanted to show you with i, I keep calling her lady harmony because i'm used to that but i actually did get rid of her title because a lot of you guys pointed out if she's banished here and i feel like for the most part like king adrian had a lot to do with her being banished because I feel like Queen Lindsay wanted her to be killed or exiled. So I think that King Adrian was like, you need to leave. Like, I don't like anywhere. Like, just run as far as you can because if she finds you, she's going to kill you. So I think that they went into hiding and someone also pointed out, because I made the lot trait off the grid. Someone pointed out that you can't use the bathroom or take a shower if you're off the grid. And that is not what I thought it meant at all. <laughs> so it makes sense because the conservationist was like a big thing with this pack but I thought it meant like I don't know like no one could find you or something but that's apparently not it so I need to get rid of that trait because I don't want them to not be able to use the bathroom and take a shower so I definitely need to change that but thank you to the person that pointed that out to me because I was very embarrassed when I was told that and I was like oh it was definitely like a little bit of a ditz moment right there so I did change their name because another person did point out like they would not keep their titles if they're trying to hide if Queen Lindsay was ever here and she found out that someone with the last name of Sue lives back here then she would like know immediately who that is. So I changed their last name to Smith, which is like the most basic common name ever because obviously like John Smith, or no, that's John Doe and Jane Doe, isn't it? Well, John Smith is also a very common name people use when they're just referring to anybody. So I changed the last name to Smith because I thought it was just so generic that it would work. And then I also changed the governess's last name to Smith because it was Firth before, like, like Colin Firth. So it was Lucy Firth before. And I think that they are telling everyone that they're sisters because she still had the governess, but Queen Lindsay knew about the governess. So she could 
would also track down the governess to find her too. So I think she had to change their, her last name. And I think they're kind of pretending to be sisters and that this is like one of their daughter. And I think like Lady, or oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just going to keep calling her Lady Harmony because it's a habit. But Harmony, she is saying that like her husband passed away. Like I feel like only the royal family of Sulani actually knows her true story because she had to explain herself when she got there. So I think that she they told her to like tell this story if anyone asks, like pretend you guys are sisters, change your name and we'll cover it for you. So her daughter Charlotte is kind of in a bad situation growing up here and everything, but I think that they'll be okay. We'll definitely come visit them, especially when Charlotte grows into a child too, because I want you guys to be able to see her as well. So that's just kind of what I wanted to show you with them. So I do want to change or I want like an alternative outfit for King Mahaka. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So this is kind of what I've come up with so far. So this shirt is custom content and I forgot I had it. It's actually perfect. So all of these different, oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. All of these different designs come with it too. And I honestly can't pick which one I like because I like them all a lot. I might go with this one or I do like this one a lot too. Ooh, maybe this one, this, like they all seem very similar to their outfits, like their cultural outfits. So I, I might just go with this one. I mean, he could honestly wear any of them so I could pick multiple outfits with the different shirts. It's cool that they are like still so different. So it's like, it looks like a different shirt, but it's the same shirt with like a different design. I did pick some black pants for him to wear. I was debating having him wear like the skirt and everything, but I remember, oh, I'm sorry, I'm burping a little bit. I remember looking up pictures and they did wear suits, like the royals wore suits in Hawaii. So they, they just like looked a little bit different. So I think, I mean like he can wear pants, it's fine. The shoes are a little bit different too. Cause I, I still want it to look a little different from the other royals. I think this actually might be a little similar to what the royal family of Oasis Springs wearing, but I actually don't think they have that exact pair of shoes, so I could be wrong. I think this is actually perfect for his alternative formal outfit, you guys. And then I really think that the queen and the princess, Princess Leilana and Queen Lokalani, I think their formal outfits are fine. So I, I'm sorry, I hope you guys can hear me too because I realize I'm mumbling a lot and talking really fast, but I'm like trying to keep the microphone right here so you guys can hear me and I'm trying to speak up, but I'm starting to like get very, very sleepy, so I apologize. So we're gonna go ahead back to the royal family of Windenburg and I'm gonna have King Henry plan the royal ball and invite everyone even though it is 5 a.m. it is okay we will still invite everyone over and just pretend that it's not 5 a.m. because I don't want to wait till the next day at night to throw the ball and I don't want to throw the ball while everyone's at school so yeah we'll just do it now we're gonna have King Henry plan a social event and then we're going to have him invite over all the royals and I do have my mod working now where I can invite as many sims as we want to which makes me really excited because we do have a lot of sims to invite so guys all right so every Everybody is about to come over. Everyone's gonna dress up in their party outfits. I might change Lady Ava's party outfit. I kind of want to do that like right. Oh no, wait, what's on her? Oh, it looked like lines were on her face at first. And I wasn't sure what that is. Can I change her outfit without exiting out of the like party? Because sometimes when you do that, it does that. Maybe I'll just put her in her formal outfit. And then I will probably pick out her outfits later on to kind of pick more of the, like the Windenburg colors, like the purple and pink. Also, I do not have Sulani colors because all of the colors are pretty much taken by the other royal families. So they're pretty flexible with their colors in case you were wondering. So I feel like that's more of like a, like a, the other kingdom sort of thing. Not really the Sulani. That's not really like part of their culture to have like specific colors that they have to wear. Okay, so the goal of this basically is to have Lady Ava meet a bunch of people like as many as she can. It looks like, oh, we do need to have the Royal Teen Club. And then I might have Princess Amira invite Princess Leilana to the Royal Teen Club as well, because I think that Princess Amira gets along pretty well with Princess Leilana. I'm pretty sure last time I checked, Princess Leilana, yeah, they're like friends. They're friends already and they've met like once. So apparently she got along with her really, really well, but it could also be a little bit suspicious. Like, like of course, because Princess Amira is very much like, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. So she might feel a little bit of competition. I feel like she feels a little bit of competition with everyone, including her sister, honestly. Also, we still have that thing where Princess May is seeing Prince Johan and they're a thing, but, Princess, but Prince Johan is engaged to marry her sister Princess Amira, and then Princess Amira kind of started flirting with Prince Johan as well. So we're gonna have to still figure that out too, guys. It's very, very complicated. So we're gonna have to see how, how that goes. But 
I think Prince Johan is actually going to be here, so we might get to see a little bit of that here. Okay, so it is daylight now, and our guests are starting to come in, so I should probably have King Henry. Oh, no, this is our this is our royal teen club, you guys. Oh, okay. Well, here we have Princess Nea, so I would just have, like, all the kids talk to them. Oh, yeah, guys, and then we also have Prince Michael. Totally forgot that he's at the castle with his baby too so that we're gonna have to check in on them too because that is interesting oh and then it looks like we're gonna have princess amira she's going to greet prince johan i feel like she feels like she has to like this is who she's supposed to marry so she's like oh my god fine like okay i'll i'll, I'll introduce or not introduce myself i will come and talk to you and then we have princess megan here who is prince kellen's girlfriend so i'm going to have him kiss her or like caress her cheek or oh, embrace her give her a hug so the only thing is though guys so i mentioned a few episodes ago that he does have like oh no no take pay time off so it looks like him and lady aria who lives in oasis springs like i guess he's kind of romantically interested in her or maybe she's romantically interested in him but he's dating princess megan so I don't really know how that's gonna go. We'll, we'll have to see. I don't know. I don't think Lady Arya is coming here tonight. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see how him and Princess Meghan, how like things kind of go on with them. And then I don't see the royal family of Sulani. I don't see any of our actual party. Oh no, there they are. They're all trickling in. They all take forever to get here. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have... So this is Princess Leilana's party outfit. I wasn't sure about it. That slit seems a little bit, like, very, very high. I wasn't sure about it, but I feel like it's fine for now. I can I can change her outfit later on if I find something that I like. So I guess we're gonna have Princess Amira introduce herself. Or not introduce herself. She knows her. She's gonna have her say hi. Because I do think that Princess Leilana has asked her about the Royal Teen Club. Like, I feel like it's come up in a conversation and Princess Leilana is like, oh, what's that? And then I'm sure Princess Amira, like she wants it to have a good reputation. Oh no, take a vacation day. Take a vacation day, take a vacation day. So I feel like she wants her royal teen club to have the princess from like the other kingdom. Like she wants it to be reputable. So the more princesses and princes it has, honestly, like the better. So I do feel like Princess Amira would ask her to join like now. I mean, they're pretty good friends too. So I think she's gonna ask her to join you guys. Okay, so Princess Amira is inviting Princess Leilana to the teen club now. It looks like Princess Leilana is super excited about it. So. I think is she is she part of the club did she say yes oh wait it actually doesn't say if she said yes or not okay now she's part of the club are you kidding me I'd love to join the royal teen club so guys we now have princess Leilana in the royal teen club too I'm so so excited and then we have uh, princess Anna here or Marquis Anna so that is the king's sister this is their favorite aunt you guys they love her so much they're like best friends with her too. Oh, and then oh, Lady Ava, Lady Ava, this is who you need to talk to is Princess Anna because she is going to be your like way into the family because she is very judgmental, I think. So yeah, she needs to talk to her. So it looks like Lady Ava is getting along pretty well with Princess Anna. So that's good, you guys. So it, I, I think things are kind of going well with them. It looks like it so far. I know that Lady Ava also needs to introduce herself to King Henry's niece, Princess Belle. So she just kind of has to like meet everyone really. And then of course, Queen Cora too. So that is someone she definitely needs to introduce herself to. But Queen Cora was like just her queen when she lived in Willow Creek because she's from Willow Creek. So she should... She should know about Queen Cora, but she's never, like, actually talked to Queen Cora. And then we have the Queen to- Oh, wait, guys. This is- I guess this is her party outfit, but I think I'm going to change this to her formal outfit. Okay, so I have Queen Lokalani changed into her formal outfit, but you know what? That means that King Mahaka is in his party outfit, and I had made an alternative- Party, uh, oh no, yeah, that means I have, I had made an alternative formal outfit for him, not a party outfit, so that means that he's in here shirtless somewhere and I don't know where he is. Oh, you know what, guys? It does look like Princess Leilana is talking to Queen Lindsay, and I feel like she's like, oh my gosh, this is the queen that that girl in our kingdom that is banished was talking about. And that's the king, like King Adrian's here too. And she's like, oh my gosh, I know exactly who these people are, but she can't say anything about it. So she, oh, you know what? I don't even know if she would actually know about it. Like I know her parents would know about it. No, I feel like they would get, they would tell her about it too, because she's going to become the queen of Sulani. So I feel like they would also tell her about it just to like 
keep her aware of things. So she does know exactly who they are, and they're here. And oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know what's gonna happen with their marriage because Queen Lindsay hasn't asked for a divorce yet. But I don't know if they would be willing to do that for the publicity and for their like their for kids too. They have four kids who are all teenagers, you guys. I don't think they want to get divorced because all of their kids are probably just going to go through a lot when that happens too. So I think they're still deciding things. So we'll kind of see how things work out with their marriage. I don't know where Princess Amira is going. I have not seen her talking to Prince Johan. I have not seen Princess May talking to Prince Johan either. Right now, Princess May is playing the Wink the Llama with, with Princess Belle. So I think that like, I mean, I don't, I didn't even see Prince Johan actually. Oh, you know what? They should probably all talk to their cousin, Lady Ezra, who they know really well because Lady Ezra actually lived with them for a little bit too. But yeah, you guys, I mean, I think that I might just go ahead and end this episode here because we did get to do a lot in this episode. So I know the dinner party, like I was kind of hoping to see if Princess Amira or Princess May would talk to Prince Johan, but I don't actually even see him here. So I don't really know where he went. I also didn't see King Mahaka come here. So I'm not sure why, but it looks like a few guests didn't show up, but that is okay. We'll, we'll try to figure that out another time and we'll get to spend more time with the family of Sulani later on as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm so excited for King Henry and Lady Ava to get married. We'll probably have them get married in a few episodes. Definitely not the next episode. Maybe the one after that. We'll, we'll just have to see. Don't forget to let me know about the Patreon thing, about what perks you guys would want to see because I really want to see your, your opinions on that. So don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and to subscribe if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for 600. I just reached 600 subscribers today. So thank you guys so, so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.